Hello guys, welcome to Jeff's Garage Adventures. You like tools? You've got the right channel. I do lots and lots of tool reviews, mostly Miller Road, also some low and high end as well, and occasionally some car tech tips and repairs. Today's a car tip. Car tech tip. I have to remove this dry shaft because uh, I gotta pull a transmission back out for the third time. I got some nasty, nasty, uh, it's making some noises. I don't know what's going on with that. This is a high performance engine in this car. It's got a lot of horsepower, and there's something going on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the transmission out, not in this video, and uh, bring it down to uh, the transmission shop and see what the hell's going on with it. But it's always a good idea, guys, before removing your dry shaft, to mark mark the, the yoke in relationship to the dry shaft. You see how I always got it? I got it painted with some orange paint, but you can use a, mar a paint marker. You know, you can use a lot of different things. That keeps it in alignment, guys, and you should do both ends. You should do the other end, that end, too, especially if you're uh, putting in new U-joints. I'm not putting in new U-joints. I'm just removing the dry shaft because the train has got to come out. <laughs> Fun pun. So what's, uh, you can see why I got it marked up, and I usually keep it in gear until I break the, the bolts loose, and then I'll put it in neutral. But this bad boy's got to come off. It's always something, I'll tell you right now. And there's no rust on this, guys, because it's a, uh, I just drive it in the summer. This should well as not go out in snow or salt, needless to say, right, guys? But I always mark them. You can see that orange paint pretty, pretty uh, easily. And that's how I always do it. And these typically, these, these bolts are in there quite a way. Sometimes you got to move the dry shaft around to get them all out. These won't come out too too bad because, like I said, there's no salt on this. If this is my truck, oh, my God, it would be uh, a lot harder to remove a dry shaft and replace the U-joints. Again, we're not putting in new new U-joints. We're just uh, we're removing a dry shaft to take out the transmission. A lot of fun. A lot of fun around here, guys. Crazy, 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 hey? It is what it is, right? Sometimes the bolts won't clear the flange. You can see it there, and you'll have to uh, pull the dry shaft back. Just another exciting day. I don't know. It just uh, when you got an old car like this, there's always something to fix, guys, or work on. It's just the way it, it's the nature of the beast, you know. That one clear. Sometimes they clear, sometimes they don't. I got a magnetic tray right there. Can you see that magnetic tray? Yeah. <laughs> Again, if you're gonna, it's, it's good to, to mark both ends of the dry shaft. That's my advice to you guys, you know, because uh, you don't want any unnecessary vibration, especially with a high horsepower engine like this. So you got to be, you got to do your, you just got to be careful. Somebody asked me how long, how long I've been working on cars. I had a question that a while ago. Uh, forever. <laughs> uh, for many, many years, guys, I've been working on cars. Oh, oh, there you go, guys. This should just about be out. Be careful you don't hit the uh, rear seal. Let's put it on the ground here. If you can see it, but that's basically... What I do, you can see, you still see the mark on the, on the pinion, pinion yoke, and uh, let's see if you can see the dry shaft here. Bring it down here. There's a dry shaft on the ground. You might want to put a, uh, a pan, because some of that transmission fluid probably will come out of the tail shaft of the transmission. I don't see a lot of it coming out, though. It looks pretty good up here. That's it for today's video, guys. Just short and sweet. Just trying to give you guys some nice, <coughs> excuse me, nice tech tips. Make sure you mark your flanges on both ends, and you will have no issues with vibration. There you go. You can see the yoke. It's got a nice mark there, and so doesn't the dry shaft on the ground. All right, guys. That's it for today. Short and sweet. Hope you're having a great weekend, and uh, take care.